Friday, what a night, huh? No, we either get too much or not enough. Nick, that kitchen ceiling is leaking like a sieve. I thought you fixed it. I did, but I wasn't expecting this kind of weather. Come on, Heath, let's take a look at it. I'll get it. Frank, come in. Come in. Goodness, get that coat off. I'll get you some hot coffee. Oh, I haven't time, Sparkly. We got serious trouble. I need your help. What is it, Frank? At Earth Dam, up at Vineyard Lake. Those rain's been working on it. There's a good chance the whole shebang might let go. That dam breaks. The whole valley's gonna be flooded. What do you want us to do, Frank? Well, I got men sandbagged in the dam now. If you could give them any help. Every man we got will be there in an hour, Frank. Heath, you go see if you can find Jared. I'll round up the rest of the men. Just hold on. I'd like one of you to go over to Salt Springs. I had the place evacuated last night. But there's people who wouldn't be above looting a deserted town. I got three men there now, but I don't know them. I need somebody I can count on. Well, I'll go. I never did care much for carrying sandbags. All right. Uh, he. We ought to know whether or not that dam's going to hold by sundown tomorrow night. You keep an eye out toward the dam about then. If it looks okay, I'll fire off two skyrockets. But if I shoot off only one rocket... Yeah, well, I think I can figure that one out for myself. I'll get my gear. Jared. Frank, Salt Springs is right at the base of the dam, isn't it? Yeah, that's so. If the dam goes, how much of a chance will he have? I won't lie to you, Miss Barkley. If that boy's in Salt Springs and the dam lets go, well, I'd say he'd better have himself a real fast horse. Maybe an ark. Barkley. Sheriff Mattern sent me. Boy, you like to scare us half to death. Hey, Leon, this is the one the sheriff told us about. I'm Cody Grell. This here's my brother, Leon. Nice meeting you. Come on inside, meet old Buster. like they left every bit of the free lunch. You want something? No, thanks. How about a beer? It tastes good. Sheriff sent Barkley to give us a hand protecting things. Looks like the free lunch is in good hands anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we've been doing so far. Now, one of us has been making our rounds every half hour, been trading off turns. You want to get some sleep? There's a room in the back. Sounds like everything's under control. Well, I ain't too much to walking around an empty town. Um, anything new up at the dam? 
Well, they'll know something by tonight. Two skyrockets means good. One skyrocket means get. Well, we, we didn't unsaddle our horses, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, if uh, you want us to ride out now, you won't get any argument from me. Leon, a sheriff asked us personally to do a job for him. He asked for volunteers, and you were the only one who stuck his hand up, and that's the truth of that. My brother is real civic-minded. Leon, we've been through all this before. Leave it go, please. <laughs> See, uh, my brother don't quite understand what I'm trying to do by... When that damn let's fly, we're going to be the ones blowing bubbles. None of those respectable people that you keep drooling over. Leon. Don't pay no attention to them two wrangling each other. They do it all the time. It sounds like you fellas work together. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got a claim just outside of town. We ain't found nothing yet. <laughs> well, we will. You mark my word. I've been telling him and his brother both. This land is just plumb full of gold. I know. I've been at it for years around here. Now, you never told us how come you ain't got anything yet. Well, that's on account of some people are supposed to get their reward early, and, and some of them get it late. But the Lord will take care of me. Don't you worry. He's not going to let old Buster down. You'll see. <laughs> how about you, Barkley? You a uh, ranch hand or what? Ain't a ranch hand with a fine gun like that. Hey, mind if I take a look at that? Well, Leon purely admires a good handgun. Yeah. You know, I have myself lots of rifles, but I've never had myself a good handgun. Glad you like it. But it's just a working man's gun. Our family's got a spread up around Stockton. Hey, are you one of them, Barclays? His family's got half this valley in the bank vault. That's what I've been told. <laughs> well, I wouldn't believe everything I heard. Oh. When's the last time anybody looked around? Oh, I was out a while back. It's quiet as a tomb out there. I guess it's my turn, huh? Leon, just might need that. Oh, uh, we'll put your uh, horse in the livery stable with ours. Good enough. Hey, hurry back and I'll buy you another beer on the house. <laughs> I'll do that. Good. Hey, one myself. Leon, don't you know nothing about how to act around people? I didn't do nothing. But you didn't try to be too friendly, neither. Now, you know why I told the sheriff we were going to help him out. So as people wouldn't think we're just stray dogs. So as people would know that we want to have a stake in this town. Whew. Boy, they squeeze the juices out of you. We don't own anything in this town, and yet we're guarding it. Now, you tell me how that makes any sense at all. It makes people respect us. There ain't nothing more important than that. There's only one thing people respect, and that's money. And ain't none of your ideas gotten any of that yet. I swear, you two at it again. <laughs> well, you know what they say, Buster. What? Never interfere in a fight between two brothers. <laughs> you want a beer, uh, Cody? No. You got the wrong room. I sure did get the wrong room. Come on, on your way before I call the manager. You better have a loud voice. What is that supposed to mean? Manager's 20 miles away. Yeah? Well, I'm little Bo Peep. 
<laughs> Look, lady, I don't know what you're doing here, but... This is my room. That's what I'm doing here. Because this whole town has been evacuated. Evacuated. <laughs> Come on, honey. <laughs> Take a look. It's all right, honey. I ain't going anywhere. weakened the dam up in the foothills. If it goes, so does the town. <laughs> well, Faye, old girl, you sure can pick them, can't you? <sighs> 10,000 Salt Lake towns in this country, and you pick this one. Oh, I'm uh, Faye Kelly, by the way. Heath Barkley. Why didn't you leave with the others? Pa was probably too drunk to hear them. She's probably too scared to let him in. Poor little thing. They probably knocked and yelled and nobody answered. They figured we'd gone. Well, we better get you out of here. Now, look, I'm just trying to be friendly. Doesn't she understand English? Not when it comes angry. I found her when I was singing in a saloon. She was swabbing out the place. Taking a lot of guff from the drovers who come through. It well, didn't seem right, so now she travels with me. <laughs> Which is a big improvement. Her tribe uh, kicked her out. They uh, they think she's cursed. She can't talk. Barkley! Barkley! Barkley, where are you? Barkley! Barkley! What is it, Buster? We did it! We did it! Did what? We caught one. We caught us a real live looter. That's what we done. A real live one, too. Can you imagine that? We caught a looter. That's hard to do, too, you know. <laughs> Lady, when I get back, you better be packed up, sobered up, and ready to get out. It was real swell meeting you, too. <laughs> Fancy rig for a cowboy, Mr. Cannon. There's nothing wrong with that. Look, I was just passing through. Is that a crime? From what I hear, Cannon, you were passing through a few stores. Ran out of tin beef on the trail. Thought I'd pick some up. It's a mighty handsome coat. I'm glad you like it. What'd you buy? I didn't. Won it in a card game. Where? El Paso, about... Uh, Two or three months ago. And you've been walking around for two or three months with a price tag still on it. <laughs> Always did have a bad memory. Well, you'll have time to remember a few things in the Stockton jail. Oh, you can't hold me. You aren't law, man. Oh, yes, we are. Duly sworn in. All of us. The law must be getting pretty hard up. Hey, listen, mister, you just button up your lip. Leon, our job's just holding for the sheriff. Besides, he's not the only problem we've got. There's two women over at the hotel. Got left behind somehow. Are they good looking? I gotta go over and get them packed up and moved in over here. Hey, Barkley. Whose horse? What do you mean? The way I count, five people here and then five horses. Now, whose horse are those women gonna take? He's right. You can't get away from a flood on foot, Barkley. I'll take my horse. Then somebody's gonna have to ride double. Can't make any time that way. I ain't riding double with nobody. Mm. <laughs> well, guess who his riding partner's going to be? Satisfied? I just want to find out uh, what the arrangements are going to be, that's all. 
Now you know. Boys, I don't know why you're so anxious to get out of here. You got whiskey, food, and women. There's nothing wrong with that setup. Mister, what we're doing here is upholding the law. Sure. Sure. I told you, Angel, I ain't going anywhere. Well, look, will you just get dressed? In a few hours, this whole town may be underwater. No great loss from what I can see. Well, why? Just tell me why you want to stay. I never saw a flood before. Oh, can't you understand that this is serious? All right, I'll be serious. In the first place, an elephant sitting on a footstool couldn't have a bigger hangover than I got right now. In the second place, I got a roof and some food, which is more than I got over the next hill. And if that dam breaks? Yeah, that's the third thing. If the dam breaks, what are you going to do? Leave the girl and me here? Oh, no, you wouldn't do that, would you? No. Well, what else are you going to do? Tie us both on the back of a horse and slap his rump? Hope he takes us to high ground? No. Admit it, Angel. We're staying. And besides, I uh, told you before, I ain't never seen a flood before. All right. All right, but you're moving in closer with us. And the saloon is our headquarters. All right, Angel. But I ain't going to no saloon headquarters in this ride. Your boss sure is taking his time with those women. He ain't our boss. Looks like he was the one giving the orders. We're all in this equal. Yeah. You rich guys sure do stick together. <laughs> you think we're rich? You mean you aren't? Well, that is absolutely amazing. How come you thought we was rich? Because the real name of this town is Temptation. Oh, that's enough of that kind of talk. Oh, let him go on and talk. What's it going to hurt for him to talk? We're here to guard this town. That's what we're going to do. Well, who said anything different? I was just giving you boys a lot of credit at all. There ain't many regular folks. Poor, I mean. Like all of us. Not many could just stand around and leave things be. We just don't happen to think stealing is right. But this ain't stealing. How do you figure that? Yeah. How do you figure that? Mind if I have a drink? Ah, uh, sure. Well, it seems to me when a man steals, he knows he might get caught. There ain't no way a man could get caught here. You see, I figure a man could take a few wagons, and load them up with, uh, well, whatever struck his fancy, then ride on out a few miles and wait. For well, what? Well, if that damn busts, it keeps right on going. This whole town will be underwater. No one would know a thing had been taken. <laughs> yeah? What happens if that damn don't bust? Yeah. Well, then he rides back here. And all the folks will call him a hero for doing his best to save their precious, lifelong possessions. It'd be hard for a man to lose, no matter what happens. I don't mean to sound like I know it all. Just a cowboy passing through. Hey, Cody. You know, if you work like you said, you know that, don't you? It ain't right to steal. Well, how about that time in Carson City? We were starving and we wanted food. That's different. Well, I bet you the owner of that store wouldn't think so. Now, look, Mom made me promise never to fight you on things. I never done it. Even when we threw in with the old Buster, I stuck with you. I was up before dawn. I was down in that mine with you. In that black hole at 8 or 9 o'clock at night, I remember times trying to remember what the sun looked like. All the time you was telling me how good things were going to be and how uh, respected we was going to be when we hit that rich vein. Well, we hit it today, Cody. Huh? I don't want to ever hear you talk like that again. Uh-huh. Because you know it's true. Because it is true. I didn't realize that 
She was so tempted, Cody. in there. Ain't no blankets or nothing. She's an Indian, ain't she? That's right. Take this. Go down to the dry goods store and pick up some blankets and anything else you might need. Angel, the town's deserted. Who am I supposed to give this to? Come on, nobody. Just leave it on the counter. <laughs> you sure are a unicorn. <laughs> you know, that thing looks like a horse with a horn. A fellow once told me that Horn represented honesty, which is swell, if you happen to believe in unicorns. Well, come on, honey. Honest John wants to throw some money away. Boys? Hey, General. I thought you was going to get rid of those women. Easier said than done. It don't bother me, none. That squaw's a pretty little thing. Uh-huh. Don't talk about the squaw like that, Buster. You'll get the man mad. After all, rank does have its privileges. I'd take it a little easier on that stuff, Leon. I've gotten along without your advice for 28 years. You just leave off. And I said take it easy. I've got enough problems around here without you getting drunk. You got more problems you know about, Barkley. Show the man who you're with, Buster. Drop your gun belt, mister. Simple choice. Say yes and you're rich. Say no and you're dead. I got no time and less patience, so let's hear it. Cody, I told you the truth. People only respect money. Now it makes a man walk proud. Cody, give us a chance. I don't have to 
to ride that thing. Huh? No, just hang on long enough to get out of town. Can't we make a deal with her? Afraid not. Oh. Does she know how to ride? I don't know. She's about to learn. She's trying to tell you. Wait a minute. She wants to tell you something. Too late. They know we're in here. Get behind those bales over there. Barkley! Barkley! I hear you. You're gonna be sensible about this? I hadn't planned on it. We're coming in. Barkley, we've got you outnumbered and outgunned. Yeah, you got it all. Everything except the horses. He's right about the horses. We're stuck, Cannon. So is he. Tell you what, let's start hitting those stores. We've got about three hours between now and sundown to make a collection. Collection? That's some word. Don't waste time on anything cheap. We'll find another wagon on the street. Dump everything in there. It won't do us no good. We can't get down to town. We'll get the horses later. How? You don't expect me to go charge in that stable? He'd burn us down like dry grass. He can't shoot what he can't see. When it's dark, the four of us rush the place. Shouldn't be any trouble. Gonna kill him? If he puts up a fight, that's only self-defense. How about the two women? Yeah, killing women. I won't have no part of that. Neither would I, so don't worry about it. You two boys get started. I'll tell Buster. Cody, come on. Come on! <laughs> guard the door. I figure the other three have started looting. How do you know they're not sneaking around in back figuring to set this place on fire? No, not with the horses in here. Oh, well, I have that carved on my tombstone. They didn't burn her up because they didn't want to hurt the horses. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Well, you had your chance to get out. You should have taken it. Oh, my chance. Let me tell you something about little old Faye. I can sing a pretty mean song and uh, tell a barrel full of jokes. So this fella, Harry Cole, he, uh, Convinced me that all I needed was his help to make me a big star. And uh, he helped me all right, taking my money through the three years we was married. Then he uh, took off for Alaska with a waitress. And uh, that's the way it's gone for little old Faye. Looking for unicorns and getting kicked in the head and then drinking to get rid of the pain. I know I had my chance, Angel. You was worried whether I'd drown in a flood. I was wondering whether it even mattered or not. wall connects to the building next door. If I can get through here, maybe I can get out that way to get some ammunition.
Hey, Cody, take a look at that. Ain't that something? Huh? That's uh, just like Billy the Kid. <laughs> hey, right. Let's get you something now. Let's see, what'll it be? There you go. There, now Big Cody's got himself a hat. How about that? It's gonna be all right, you'll see. Come on, we got lots to get still. Come on. prayer. <laughs> Don't mind me. <sighs> them men out there. You see them in every saloon. Usually they're fighting to buy me a beer or walk me back to the hotel. It doesn't seem natural them trying to kill me don't seem right at all. You know something? Maybe you were cursed. Maybe it was both cursed. You don't understand me at all, do you? I don't understand myself, especially now. I, I want to laugh. I want to cry. I, mostly, I just want to pray. Not a peep out of me. I've been thinking about that surprise him in the dark idea, and I ain't fond of it. There's a better way. I'll listen. See that crack in them boards? Yeah. Why don't I just slip over there and drop a little fire in her? No, no, we don't want to burn the horses. And neither does he. And when he comes out there to tromp out that fire, he'll be right in my sights, and bam! <laughs> Buster? You're a crafty old coot. <laughs>
What happened? Barkley got Buster. He let go right through the wall. Don't be afraid. You can do it. I'll go finish putting our little collection in the wagon. But you stay here. Keep your eyes open. question I've ever heard. My best petticoat. I hope you're honored. Sure am. Tell me something, Barkley. Why are you doing all this? Huh? You never saw the girl or me till this morning. You live in another town. Even if you save the whole kit and caboodle, the dam's liable to bust. Nobody ever know what you've done. Doesn't make much sense. I guess not. Then? Why? It's hard to say. Never tried to figure it out. One time I was riding up in the high country, above the timberline. And I got lost. Then I found a trail mark. Kind of set me straight. The point is, I don't know who put up that marker. But I know if he were here today, he'd be the kind of man that'd be fighting on our side. Where do you think you're going? We still need that ammunition. You're not going to be any help to anybody if you go out there and bleed to death. She's the only person here who's got half a chance. Give me a bullet. No. There's no other way, Angel. Rifle. See this, Angel? You know what I'm trying to say, don't you? See if you can get some more just like it at the hardware store. You can do it, can't you? It's wrong what we're doing. We'll never get away with it. The law ain't ever gonna know about this. We'll know, won't we? We already stole. Can't change that. But we ain't killed, Leon. We ain't done that. What, are you scared? Yeah. We're not of getting killed. I'm scared of the way we're gonna have to live once we go through with this thing. Well, we've done too much to back out now. We're gonna see this thing through. Just talking. What's the matter with you? It's time. 
Cody? You stay here. When I whistle, you start shooting through that front door. That ought to get his attention. Then Leon and me will bust through the side door. Right. Make sure you aim high so you don't hit the horses. Come on, Leon. Leon, when your brother starts shooting, you follow me. You get a chance to break in that shiny new gun. That damn for a signal. Two skyrockets means you stick tight. One skyrocket, you hightail it out of here and don't stop for nothing. Angel? I think I'm starting to believe in unicorns again. See ya. hardware store getting shells. How'd you get out? You hear me? Oh, she can't talk, I don't think. Is Barkley out of that stable? Just nod your head, yes or no. You go on back and check that hardware store again. Barkley knows we got the girl. If he wants those shells, he'll have to get them himself. I'll take care of her. Hey, easy, Squaw. You ain't going nowhere. Made my share a lot bigger, Mr. Barkley. 
say one thing for you. You didn't give up. You hung on like a terrier. It pains me to kill you. <laughs> a good handgun, didn't you? What am I going to tell Mama? What am I going to tell Mama? Angel, I only counted one skyrocket. Yeah, you better get moving. Faye's luck's beginning to change. I've got it all. I'm up on top. I feel the music and I never want to stop. So much to cheer about and fill my cup. The world and I are on the up and up. And suddenly my heart is mountain tall. I found my lover and now I've got it all. <laughs> more, more, sing another song. Thank you, Kathy. But I better get down to the music hall after you spend so much time trying to get me on the bill. I better show up on time. We'll be in to see you. Oh, fine. Just uh, make it for the Temperance Club finds out about me. But who knows? Maybe not anymore. Well, I'll uh, get the bags off of the rig. Oh, thank you, Angel. Gee, I sure hate to leave here. I haven't been in a place with so many handsome men since... I'll, uh, I'll tell you that story sometime. Well, Angel, it was... I won't say fun, because that makes you laugh, but... I will say good. Because that makes you strong. Bye. Hey, are you sure you told us everything that went on in that town? Well, sis, I thought I did. But I guess sometimes you just don't know everything that's going on. Thank you. 